You were driving, you were coming down the hill, and what happened? Give us a rundown. Basically, I was coming down the hill and the car the car was at a dead stop. Um, I pulled to the right to go around them, um, and as soon as I pulled over, about three seconds later, somebody hit me really hard from behind. And okay. I'm here. <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right, and we're going to stay here until the police come. Because O.J. Hancock got all the information, so you covered. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. Okay, you just heard her story. This is the scene when O.J. Hancock pulled up. I patrol my community all the time. Anything that I catch is just not right, I'm going to record it. This young man in the red just ran into the back of the young lady that just told you the story. He's gathering things out of his car before the police gets there. It's two heroin addicts, right, that were riding in the car with him. You can see he's in pretty much of a hurry right now to get his belongings. He had to undo uh, the latch so that he can get in the back of the car. The other two heroin addicts over there are getting out paraphernalia, making sure that they get their drugs and everything, and he's gathering up clothes and all his belongings out the back of the car. Cars are going by. The young lady is in front of this car. You can't see her from this shot. But this is a heroin addict. This is what comes in our neighborhood every day. This young lady right here. Lime green socks, little cheap gym shoes, shorts. She's putting uh, needles in her pocket. She's gathering drugs, whatever she can get. Identification. She's cleaning the crime scene as we speak. And this young man in the red, he's still gathering out all his belongings. And he's just going to start approaching cars at random. He doesn't know the approaching cars. All he knows is he needs to get away from the crime scene. He has a bandana tied on his ankle, as you can see from this shot right here. See the bandana? I don't know if that's gang affiliated or what, but he's approaching every car he can to try to get away from the crime scene. He doesn't know these people. He just knows he needs to get away. That's the heroin addict right there. She's walking around. I think she's pretty much high when I looked at her. She just looked like she was completely out of it. And, and the sad thing about this, they don't know if this young lady is hurt or whatever. This guy here, he's a heroin addict. He's going over to the crime scene to make sure that uh, he didn't leave anything. He's gathering things, but basically he's trying to play off the situation before he leaves the scene. He looks around to see who's looking at him. Now he's trying to walk away like he had nothing to do with anything. His arm is bandaged up. Uh, that's the hide the needle marks. This is the a license plate. T82-62D Tennessee license plate. This is the condition of the car that ran in the back of the young lady's car. It was a pretty hard impact. I'm going to walk around to the passenger side so that you can look inside the car. And as I walk around and you look in the car, both airbags were deployed. That's how hard the impact was. My name is Tyler Jackson. Uh, I got into a really bad car accident. Somebody hit me. Um, back and Jay came out of nowhere and recorded the whole thing and I wasn't able to see anybody's witness anybody faces um, after they hit me they completely took off so if he wasn't here I wouldn't have had any information it's literally like he came out of nowhere and I appreciate him do so. you feel like OJ Hancock is a hero I do feel like he is a hero he came out of any nowhere and that's what superheroes do they come out of nowhere and help people so I appreciate it thanks let's